a Predator prequel, a Knives Out sequel, and a long last more Avatar. 2022 is stacked with excellent upcoming movies. But which ones are a must watch? Keep your eyes here for the best of the best. It's a very good time for high concept action movies featuring major stars. Bullet Train, the next film from John Wick and Atomic Blonde alum David Leach, is another showcase for that kind of filmmaking. Boasting a killer story hook, a stacked cast, and what promises to be some of the best action you'll see on the big screen in the coming years. The film follows a group of assassins who all happen to be taking a trip on the same Japanese bullet train. As the journey goes on, they find that their respective assignments have some unexpected connections. And the resulting clashes will present a great opportunity for some fun close-quarter fight scenes. Dude, I don't even know you! The cast is led by none other than Brad Pitt, who used to employ Leech as his stunt double back in the Fight Club days. But Pitt is far from the only major star involved in the production. Bullet Train has an impressive cast that also includes Sandra Bullock, Michael Shannon, Lady Gaga, and more. The film launched production during the pandemic, wrapped shooting in the spring of 2021, and will arrive August 5, 2022. We've seen the Predator fight special operations troops in the jungles and in the cities. We've seen it invade Los Angeles, and we've even seen it fight the Xenomorph twice. We know the Predator will endure. At this point, it's always just a question of where we'll see it next, which probably meant a prequel film was always inevitable. Now, that prequel is finally on its way. In November 2021, 20th Century Studios finally revealed that 10 Cloverfield Lane director Dan Trachtenberg's long-developing Predator project was indeed a prequel, and they finally gave it a title, Prey. Set many years before the original film, Prey will follow what happens during the Predator's apparent first trip to Earth, when the creature runs into a Comanche woman who's trained to be a warrior and will take on the alien hunter on behalf of her people. The stripped-down approach to the classic sci-fi action franchise will hit Hulu on August 5, 2022. Almost immediately after Knives Out became a major mystery hit over the 2019 holiday season, writer-director Ryan Johnson began talking about potential plans for a sequel. Those plans took shape in the spring of 2021, when Netflix signed on to a deal worth hundreds of millions of dollars that would set Johnson and company up for two Knives Out sequel films at the streaming giant. With the backing of Netflix and a lot of goodwill built up from the first film, Johnson set to work and began building a predictably stacked cast. My presence will be ornamental. While the first Knives Out film boasted an impressive roster of talent, only Daniel Craig is expected to return from the first film, reprising his role as private detective Benoit Blanc to take on yet another mystery. The nature of that mystery remains unclear, although we know at least some of the film has been shot in Greece. Plus, the ensemble Johnson's building to populate the new story is arguably more impressive than the one from the first film. In the first half of 2021, the production added some major stars, including Dave Bautista, Edward Norton, Janelle Monet, and Kate Hudson to its cast, ahead of a production start later in the year. The Knives Out sequel, titled Glass Onion – A Knives Out Mystery, doesn't have a firm release date yet. But when it finally hits Netflix sometime during holiday season 2022, it might just be the all-star mystery to end all other all-star mysteries. When it comes to Stephen King, everything old is always eventually new again. The horror author's enduring popularity has produced a fresh adaptation boom in recent years, and the latest project to come out of that boom is a new take on Salem's Lot his vampire novel that was originally adapted as a miniseries in 1979 and then readapted for TV again in 2004. This time around, the book, which follows a writer as he returns to his hometown just as a vampire sets up shop and begins to take over, will get the feature film treatment for writer and director Gary Doberman, whose previous horror titles include The Nun and Annabelle Comes Home. The new vision of one of Stephen King's most terrifying novels begins when Salem's Lot hits theaters September 9, 2022. After Halloween proved to be a massive horror hit in the fall of 2018, Universal Pictures and Blumhouse Productions announced that the sequel would form the first part of a trilogy focusing on the ongoing battle between Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. After a pandemic delay of approximately a year, the second film, Halloween Kills, arrived in October of 2021 and established a frightening new status quo for Michael and Laurie. 
setting the stage for Halloween Ends to arrive in the fall of 2022. At this point, we still don't know very much about Halloween Ends, but director David Gordon Green has offered a couple of tantalizing details. For one thing, the film will feature a time jump to the present day, after both Halloween and Halloween Kills were set over the course of Halloween Night 2018. That means four years will have passed since we last caught up with Laurie and Michael, and all sorts of things could have happened in the meantime. Plus, Green has made it clear that, as far as he's concerned, the story is over with the aptly named Halloween Ends, which means we should expect a fiery, bloody conclusion. Halloween Ends is in theaters October 14th, 2022. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? For more than a decade now, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been circling a superhero movie while he's moved through blockbuster after blockbuster cementing his place as one of the biggest action stars of his generation. Soon, he'll finally make his big-screen super debut after years of development and teasing. In the spring of 2022, after several pieces of teaser footage, Johnson finally revealed the first trailer for the film, which will center him as the title character, a kind of dark mirror of the superhero we met in Shazam. Chosen to wield the Shazam powers ages before Billy Batson, Adam's power was corrupted when he received it. But that doesn't stop him from becoming a kind of anti-hero in his own right. Introduced as a villain in comics, Black Adam has become a much more complex figure over the years, and it looks like Johnson's film will embrace that. Plus, the trailer showed off our first look at the big-screen debut of the Heroes of the Justice Society of America, first announced as major players in Black Adam back in 2020. The film will feature Noah Centineo as Atom Smasher, Aldous Hodge as Hawkman, Quintessa Swindell as Cyclone, and Pierce Brosnan as Dr. Fate. Black Adam hits theaters on October 21, 2022. A sequel to Black Panther has been something Marvel Studios has been eager about ever since the first film rocketed to massive commercial and critical success in 2018. In 2020, everything surrounding that particular sequel changed when its star, Chadwick Boseman, died at the age of just 43. That left a lot of lingering questions, and in December of 2020, Marvel Studios finally started to answer some of them. During a Disney Investor Day presentation, Kevin Feige announced that Black Panther 2 would indeed still be moving forward under the leadership of director Ryan Coogler. But we shouldn't expect another actor to embody King Kachala of Wakanda. Instead, we should prepare for a film that, according to Feige, will honor Bozeman's memory and continue to explore the world of Wakanda. That's especially true now that we know the sequel will be titled Black Panther Wakanda Forever. However it takes shape, Wakanda Forever is now set to hit theaters November 11, 2022. It's been more than a decade since James Cameron released Avatar, a massive sci-fi spectacle that eventually became the highest-grossing film in history up to that point. Back when the first film was released, we were supposed to get a sequel within a few years. Then Cameron pushed the development back in order to advance filmmaking technology. Then it was pushed back again, and again, and again. Now, at last, an Avatar sequel is finally officially on the way. Titled Avatar The Way of Water, the film will reunite original cast members Sam Worthington, Zoe Saldana, Sigourney Weaver, and others for a massive new adventure on the alien planet Pandora showing us parts of that world we've never seen before. Are you serious? Yeah. As the title suggests, we'll see much more of the planet's oceans this time around, picking up on Jake and Natiri's adventures years after the first film, when they've had a child and set up a new life together. But that new life means new challenges, including the persistent threat of human intervention on Pandora and internal conflicts among the Na'vi people. Avatar The Way of Water will finally hit theaters December 16, 2022. In late 2018 and early 2019, Warner Brothers did a lot of work to inject some fun into its DC Comics extended universe. That effort began with Aquaman, which was a massive box office hit over the 2018 holiday season, and then continued with Shazam, which arrived in early 2019 and attained acclaim in its own right. It never rose to the box office heights of Aquaman, but the film's $364 million worldwide box office haul was solid for a film of its size. It was also apparently enough to greenlight a sequel. Warner Brothers announced in late 2019 that a Shazam sequel was on the way. Zachary Levi is set to return to the title role in the film, with writer Henry Gaydon and director David F. Sandberg also set to return behind the camera. 
In 2020, the title was revealed to be Shazam! Fury of the Gods. There's no word yet on exactly what the plot will be, but the original film set up plenty of opportunities for new foes, including the potential inclusion of Black Adam after his own film drops. But whether or not he appears, we know that Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu will be showing up as villains, playing daughters of the god Atlas. Fury of the Gods is currently expected to arrive on December 21, 2022. The folks at Warner Brothers have been working to put a Batgirl film together for several years, but it all really started to come together in 2021, when the film found its star with In the Heights breakout Leslie Grace. With Grace in front of the camera, Birds of Prey writer Christina Hudson taking on the script, and the directors of Bad Boys for Life helming the film, Batgirl was often running as a high-profile feature film project for the HBO Max streaming service. Hey, even the Batmobile don't hold the road like this. And once Grace joined the cast, things started to get interesting rather quickly. After the film found the right actress to play Gotham City resident-turned-vigilante Barbara Gordon, Batgirl landed J.K. Simmons, who will reprise his Justice League role as Barbara's father, Commissioner Jim Gordon. Then it was revealed that Michael Keaton, who's already set to return as Bruce Wayne in The Flash, will once again play Batman for Batgirl. Things got even more interesting when Doom Patrol star Brendan Fraser joined the cast as the DC villain Firefly and Ivory Aquino stepped up to play a close friend of Barbara Gordon's, who will be the first trans character in a major superhero film. Batgirl will arrive with some serious star power on HBO Max at some point in 2022. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.